the dog is making a miraculous recovery just months after she was diagnosed with a deadly brain cancer. This young pit bull from Alexandria is responding well to a remarkable new treatment. And Bruce Lachan tells us this treatment, Bruce, might actually save some humans' lives as well. Absolutely right, Adam. Researchers at Virginia Tech say the kind of cancerous tumor that hit Q is similar to glioma brain cancers in humans. So what is working well for Q may soon be used to treat people too. She looks great. Yeah. Virginia yeah. Tech's John Reismeisel is really excited about Q's recovery. Back in March, the usually energetic young pit bull got forgetful and whiny and eventually suffered a seizure. He'd only had one or the other. He might have waited a little We might have waited a little yeah. longer, so thank you for having a seizure, puppy. A three thousand dollar MRI found a glioma brain tumor. The prognosis was terrible. If a dog with a glioma receives no specific treatment for that tumor, the average survival is about two and a half months. At the Virginia, Maryland Regional College of Veterinary Medicine, Bryce Meisel infused something called molecularly targeted cytotoxin directly into Q's tumor. The chemotherapy drug binds only to the proteins coating the surface of the cancer cells. It does not hurt the healthy cells nearby. And so these drugs are designed to bind to those proteins, and then the payload that's present gets imported into the cancer cell. Q has responded incredibly well to the new chemo and treatment method. Her tumor has shrunk dramatically, and she is feeling much better. To six weeks, it shrunk by 50%. And then from the initial follow-up to the four-month follow-up, it shrunk by another 50%. This is the same kind of cancer that killed Senator Ted Kennedy and former Vice President Joe Biden's son, Beau. It is the same type of glioma that Senator John McCain is fighting. Researchers have used similar drugs in humans before, but the drug and delivery methods that have saved Q are showing much more promising results. So this is just a phase one trial. It is designed to ter determine the right dosage for the new drug. And some dogs have responded much better than other dogs. But there are a number of pets who have seen the same kind of recovery that Q has seen. And that really is super promising, Adam. Yeah, you know, these numbers are, are scary, though. 4% of dogs will get cancer in their lifetime. So is this deadly glioma, it's the second most common. So if people suspect it in their dog, can they get them into this trial? Well, this is really cool because you can you can get your dog in there. You have to pay for the initial MRI to confirm the diagnosis, and you gotta pay for travel to Blacksburg. But the treatment, all the follow-up, free, and you can join up if, if, God forbid, your dog has this Probably cancer. Probably a lot more cost-effective than trying to treat it on your own without yeah, this Yeah, I just can't. I mean, it's just really a deadly cancer. We love our pets, we keep them close. Thanks, Bruce. All right.